Spring is a magical time of year at Kachuma Lake. Located off Scenic Highway 154 in the San Ynez Valley, the Kachuma Lake Recreation Area is the perfect place to experience the flora and fauna of California. And despite the drought, visitors can expect to see plenty of wildlife activity. It's hard to understand that we're in a severe drought right now, given how green and lush everything is. And one of the great things about seeing the lake right now is that you can see the old river course. You have these old exposed river terraces. Those are ideal places for wildlife to hunt, rest, feed. They have plenty of wide angle view to see if any predators are around. They can walk into the vegetation and virtually disappear. We see bald eagles feeding on prey that they've caught. I actually saw a bobcat uh, catch a coot on the shore. So the shoreline is, there's more of it, um, and there are more opportunities to see wildlife. And to get a hands-on experience with nature, there's a place where community members can visit free of charge. The Nature Center is a nonprofit within Kachuma Recreation Area, and we actually were founded in 1988 by a naturalist, Neil Taylor, and he's actually famous in these parts because he's just a great storyteller and an amazing fisherman. He passed away a couple years ago, but his legend and, and legacy carries on with the Nature Center. The center has a sign inside that says, please touch. So it's very kid-friendly, very people-friendly, and all the exhibits have been done by volunteers, so it's been a real labor of love. We also have an amazing support through our membership and donors, and that's how we're able to keep the Nature Center free so everybody in the community and the campers can come and enjoy the exhibits and all the activities. It's an unusual situation having a nonprofit within the county park, but it's a great relationship. We partner on so many different things. Visitors will get the chance to experience different habitats along the Don Wimpress Nature Trail. We walk through Oak Savannah, we get into Chaparral where you can smell purple sage. We walk through Oak Woodland where you have the shade of, of the oak trees above your head and a really nice wooded canopy. The Lake Cruise, Nature Walk, and Nature Center provide such an enriching and educational experience with nature that they're all offered as a three-part field trip. We have a thriving field trip program for schools and community groups. So they get the boat ride and exposed to things like wildlife like deer, bald eagles, hawks, herons. Then we take them on the nature walk so they actually get out in touching things, walking on a trail, and then they get a more hands-on experience in the nature center where docents do presentations for them and also the children have a chance to explore the center. The park also offers a junior ranger program where kids from 3 to 12 years old can learn about nature and wildlife and the importance of responsibility in their environment. So the junior program is every single Saturday. There are four different levels and they receive a badge, a different badge. So acorn woodpeckers, 3 to 6, great blue heron is 7 to 9 years old, mountain lion is 10 and 11, and then bald eagle is 12 and up. We talk trash, we talk about the importance of picking up litter, the danger of litter to wildlife. Then we go into the center and each child answers questions about their badge animal. When everyone's finished, we convene back out here and review a little bit what they've learned uh, and then we award their badges. For the fishing enthusiast, Kachuma is one of Southern California's finest lakes because of the various fish habitats. And this spring, Kachuma Lake will be planting rainbow trout just in time for the 20th annual fishing derby. It's a weekend of camping and fishing and we have all sorts of different categories for different species of fish. We give away over $5,000 in cash prizes and thousands in merchandise prizes. We hope everybody comes out to enjoy it. It's just a really great, great way to enjoy camping and a fun weekend at Kachuma and help raise money for the Nature Center. There's a lot to do on the water as well. People can come and rent small boats, they can rent pontoon boats, they can rent kayaks. And for the ultimate nature adventure, the park's easy-to-use online reservation page allows you to preview your campsite for a custom camping experience. So the park has an array of um, camping options for people. They can go tent camping when there are beautiful sites. Most are shaded by oaks and have picnic tables. If people want to step it up a little bit, we have our yurts 
which are really fun to stay in. They're very popular, so people do need to plan well in advance. And then if you really want to be cushy, we have uh, seven cabins. One of our cabins is accessible, which makes it really easy for people. But they have everything. They've got hot showers, coffee makers, microwaves, and even television. So whether you're roughing it in a tent or in a cabin with a lake view, camping at Kachuma Lake is an experience you won't want to miss. From fishing to camping, boating to nature walks, Kachuma Lake Recreation Area has something for nature lovers of all ages. Showing people the acorn woodpeckers uh, and their granary trees in the valley oaks, showing them pack rats' nests on the nature trail, making sure everybody knows what poison oak looks like, smelling coastal sage, looking at wild cucumber. It doesn't matter how old you are. Those things are great to see uh, no matter the age. For more information about the programs offered at Kachuma Lake Recreation Area, please visit sbparks.org.